wonder why we celebrate New Year's? I mean, why do we even care? Nobody throws Happy New Week parties every Monday morning. Mondays do not deserve to be celebrated. But years do. I think maybe it's because every time we complete another lap around the sun, we get another chance at perfection. Find the perfect gift, throw in the perfect party. Being that perfect version of myself that I envisioned last year, but never quite reached. That seems to be the International New Year obsession. Perfecting self. This year, I will be better, thinner, faster, smarter, stronger, richer, happier, prettier, perfect. I will be me, version 2.0. And you probably have a very clever list of ways you plan on making that happen. They're called New Year's resolutions, soup boy. In algebra, resolution is solving the equation, finding the unknown quantity of x. And in the life, resolution is fixed purpose. Determination of mind, firmness, steadiness, constancy of execution, implying courage. So every 12 months, I write down all my plans for self-improvement, all my visions for a perfect person in the mirror. And with all the determination I can muster, I set off into the brave new year to make my dreams come true. Don't we all? And when we finally slow down sometime in late July, we realize that we're no closer to achieving our goals than we were originally at the beginning of the new year. Not like Jerry. Jerry brings in the big contract. Jerry gets the promotion. Jerry buys the stupid boat. The problem is you haven't sold for X. And that's the only resolution that matters. I can do it this year. Think thin. Think fabulous. Think perfection. Think fun. Think popular. This is exhausting. You are the deal maker. You are the closer. You are better than Jerry. You are missing the point. There will always be people who appear to be better than you more successful, more popular, more attractive. But even if you obtain all of that, you will not be happy. And isn't that the reason for me 2.0? Happiness? Resolutions, meaningless. Why waste all of that time on self-improvement books and life goals if they're not gonna make us any happier anyway? What I need is that elusive something, the secret ingredient, the mystery, the answer to the question, the one thing, the solution that solves it all. You will never be happy until you stop looking at the face in the mirror and start looking into the face of our Savior. Pick up your Bibles! We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We're not struggling just to be good enough because he has already made us more than conquerors. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, then this year, instead of trying to make my life perfect, I'm going to focus on making myself more like the one who gives me life. Dude, if me 2.0 won't guarantee a happy new year, then I'm going to be me to point the way to him. In his eyes, we're all beautiful because he loves us. And we're strong in him and in the power of his might. He is the answer to every question and the solution to every problem. He is the only resolution we need. This year. Next year. Every year. The solution is the same. Now that wasn't hard, was it? Happy New Year! Oh, I...
I, sorry. 